Long Island's number one for all the hits, 106.1 BLI. We are here live in the studio with Danielle Savory, the star of Tyler Perry's Too Close to Home, airing tonight on TLC. How are you, Danielle? I'm so good. So excited for the finale. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you so much for taking the time to be in studio with us and talking to us about the grand finale tonight. First of all, I'm obsessed with you as an actress, and I'm obsessed <laughs> with your character on the show. You've had a great season. The finale airs tonight at 10 p.m. How are you feeling about all this coming to an end? Uh, I'm ex- I like I said that before, I'm very excited. It's always great when the cast gets together for these live tweeting parties. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see how the audience reacts to all the, the things that are gonna happen in the finale. I'm just happy to be a part of the whole process. And what can you expect, or what can we expect, I should say, from your character, Anna, this season? Of course, so things are gonna continue um, to unfold in regard to the love trend between me and my ex-boyfriend, who is now in a relationship with my sister. Oh my God, um, that is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, the love triangle. So that um, the ex-boyfriend is played by the very, very, very good-looking Brock O'Hearn. So you'll see some sort of answer in regards to the love triangle. But also with my character, you'll see the president of the United States trying to push his power as much as he can to get me back to D.C. and how far Heather Locklear, who plays the first lady, will be willing to go to stop him. Wow, we are super excited, especially here at BLI and Top 40 Music. You mentioned Heather Locklear. How was your experience working with her? Well, obviously, at first, I was so nervous. I mean, it's Heather Locklear. You know, we all know her from Melrose Place and Dynasty, and she plays that that villain role so well. It was nerve-wracking when I first met her. I was sitting in the makeup chair next to her, and she leans over and she introduces herself like I didn't know who she was. And and, you know, she just acted like she was any other castmate. She started running lines, and she was a sweetheart. It's been a pleasure to work with her and to do all those scenes with her and to see her switch, make that switch from being so sweet in real life and playing such a great villain on camera. That's amazing. And, you know, on that note, you recently um, mentioned in an interview with Extra that you relate to your character, Anna, who has made mistakes that have changed the rest of her life and how she copes with them. Do you see yourself in her? Are there some challenges, life-challenging moments that you can share with us that you had to overcome? Absolutely. I mean, Anna, they- basically left her life, left her child behind in this little town in Alabama to better her life in D.C. But she, in the process, left everyone behind and made up this whole facade of a life that doesn't actually exist. You know, her parents are these rich, wealthy people that are traveling the world and no one ever meets them. And then she gets caught in all these lies in the first episode. For me, Danielle Savory, to relate to that, I think anybody really in the world that's trying to better their life or somehow become more than what they came from. That's amazing. That's really inspiring and just so personal. And I I just want to thank you for sharing that. We all, I think we're all scared to admit that part of our lives. That's what you do as an actor so well that you bring it to fruition. And the vulnerability is so amazing and so honest. What does it take for you to focus as an artist, as an actress, to get into a role like this? You know, over the years, you learn how to how to be able to jump into it and jump out of it, especially in, with this character. You know, every scene is very dramatic and very emotional. And so you have to remember the things to think about and the people to call after you're done with those scenes to get out of it. But to even get into it, I've really got to latch into past things that have happened in my own family or things with my own father to, to relate to the relationship, the horribly strained relationship that Anna has with her own mother. You just have to really tap into those memories Sadly, I mean, I kind of look at it as a positive. It's almost like a therapy session acting sometimes because you get to relive those moments and then when you're done with them, you can let them go and you're kind of at peace with them because if you're able to bring them to the surface and then let them go and go back to your normal life, you obviously have let those situations go that happened in the past. Beautifully so said. So it's, it's definitely a struggle at times and I think that's why some actors are so tormented. You know, they play certain roles and then they sometimes can't get out of them. It's definitely it's definitely a struggle at times, but it's also fun to be able to say, you know what, I have the power to do that. I have the power to snap in and out of it.